fuck I'm gonna do that. Everybody would just shut the fuck up <laughs> and do what I tell them to do. See, you see. Was that song made because you were heard as a child, or what was no, your inspiration? It's, it's because I became a father, basically, you know, the children's rights. It began to kind of fade, you know, something that was close to heart at the time. So, yeah. so it was written for your children? Yeah, basically, and all the children, you know, for everybody to think of something, you know. And they, I've got tons of feedback from people, you know, who uh, gotten help or uh, been touched by that song in some way and it's been, also it's been really great noticing that a lot of these you know children's rights um, organizations they have also contacted me and emailed me about the song and they can use it on their page and then it's been fantastic really it took the spot so to say so it's been fun to do something a little bit larger than life but have you had some big changes in your life? Because from Ecliptica, Silence, Successor, Unia, uh, those are very different albums. Even the, the Days of Grace is much, much different than the last album, Stones Grow yeah. Her Name. I'm really, I like all sorts of music. and I, 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 don't, I have not been listening to power metal in like 10 years. So uh, it's, it's, it's just a tiny little particle of everything I listen to these days. But I like a few songs here and there. And so if I were to steal your iPod, what would I find? Devin Townsend. A lot of Devin Townsend. Led Zeppelin. At the moment. Big Elf. <laughs> it's finished by you know. something completely different. I don't know, maybe I, I should create something totally different on my own time and have a solo project or something like that instead of pouring every weird idea I have on this band because it has proven not to be the best idea ever always to do that. You know, I think everybody likes if you have one or two little bit weird songs on an album but, but the general style of the album is somehow solid and then recognizable. But uh, I think in the future I'm going to release a solo project of some, some kind. It's totally different kind of music. Calling this a job, and it's kind of weird, but that's how it is really, because I, it's, it's, we make a living out of this thing and that we should do it accordingly. We are entrepreneurs. Yeah. In a way, and, uh, it's everything. It's a, it's a family, extended family, what we have here, and uh, uh, the place of work. Uh, Life. So, if you could go back into the past, would you change it? Would you still be a musician? I'm, I'm not sure. I, it, for me, it was the case of this profession and that line of work choosing me. And I didn't choose it. It's just, I just noticed I was studying and this band was just like a hobby. It just started to get better and better all the time. And then suddenly I noticed that I don't have any more time to study. This band is taking all my time and then suddenly I realized that holy shit I'm, I'm making a living with this thing and I'm, I, don't, I don't have a work. I don't, I don't need another work. Uh, Are you satisfied job. with your life being as it is? Yeah, of course. Fantastic. Everything is beautiful. Of course, it would be fun to sell like two bazillion novels. <laughs> and all of a sudden we are, we are really marginal, marginal thing in, in that sense compared to many really huge worldwide successful bands that sell millions of albums. But it's good. I'm, I'm happy to have a steady career and, and, and uh, more so to have my privacy. You know, I, I'm, I'm a really private person. I, I don't touch any of the yellow press or anything that we have in Finland. We never went that way. And I, I don't give interviews that I don't want to do. And, uh, 
and uh, I just, when I'm not working, I prefer to be let alone. something that Henke told me in 2008 he said that uh, you guys are like a big family and to each other like wives and men only there's no sex yeah. so <laughs> what do you think about that how do you see your relationship in the band with, with the guys we are, we are like I like to call us brothers more than anything like family like I don't know what Henke has been telling you or what he thinks but for me it's <laughs> like a band of brothers basically you know, we are like really tight back are you bossy? I mean, you are the big boss in the band. I try to. Every ship needs a captain, and the only one captain should be allowed to turn the wheel in a certain direction, otherwise it's going to be a disaster. And uh, I, I'm a really bad boss, really, because I'm, I'm too soft. I try to keep this thing as a democracy, you know, and I'm the dictator of that democracy. So it's a little weird, but uh, uh, maybe I should grow up at some point and take the lead. And, <laughs> Do you think well, it would work? Huh? Do you think it would work? Me being the really, really bossy guy. Yeah. Of course. It would be better. <laughs> Everybody would just shut the fuck up and do what I tell them to do. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I think it's a really valuable thing that everybody has to say what we're doing so everybody stays happy and everybody has this veto right. They don't really, if they absolutely hate something, some song on the set list or whatever, they just, we're not going to play that song. Anyway. I should be told peace, understanding, tolerance, friendship among all people. So give me the gift of fear to see the love, the freedom, the truth, that things I feel to be right for the world you live me. Closer encounters with your fans. Close encounters. Yeah. We with sometimes. groupies. Yeah, people come. No, the regular guys. Even when I'm on vacation somewhere, it's like, oh, you don't tell me, blah blah blah. And then I want to have an autograph, and that's great. That's fantastic. It's wonderful. It's, it's beautiful. It's great. But but, but I still, I prefer things the way they are at the moment. You know, where everything is kind of nice and slow and. Newspapers are not trying to write any weird stories about us because we are not interested in it. Because we are just like normal guys, not doing anything weird. Uh, did women ever come to you and give you amoral uh, offerings? Of offerings, yeah. <laughs> Something. I couldn't yeah, of remember. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And now I've been with my wife for 17 years. But of course, if you're single and everything, it's fine. It's a beautiful thing. Have you ever had any? Weird situations with fans that weren't satisfied with what you did in Sonata Arctica. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Of course. Have they ever tried to physically attack you? No. No. no I think it's ready to be killed if we don't play some certain song. I'm gonna kill you and shoot you if you don't play that song. I believe that was the first time or second time we went to South America somewhere and, and uh, we didn't play that song. I'm like, fuck, I'm not gonna do that. And you're 